to my channel, One Mom Plus Three TV, and today we're filming what for dinner. Today we're going to be making some mushroom and tomato pasta for dinner tonight. Super frugal, super freaking delicious. Let me tell you everything that you're going to need for this recipe. Now, you don't have to follow my recipe, even though it's going to be good, but you can tweak it and have it the way you prefer it and how you like it. Um, like a way that I would have done it, I would have added spinach, but I don't have any. So I have three tomatoes. I have some spaghetti noodles. Garlic, minced garlic. You're going to need cream of mushroom soup, just one. Um, I'm using uh, some heavy cream. This is just Nestle heavy cream in a can. Um, paprika. I'm going to be using a, a double. Some shaky cheese, Parmesan cheese in a bottle. Black pepper. Also fresh mushrooms. You're also going to need olive oil. You can use really any type of oil, you know, of your choice. And some cooking wine, which I'm using the Goya uh, red cooking wine. It's a vino. Uh, yeah, just a vino wine. So it's really good for pastas, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my pot. This is a one pot recipe. If you guys didn't know or couldn't tell by the one pot, that's on the stove. So I'm going to turn my pot on to a medium high. That way we can get all the vegetables into the pan. I'm going to uh, cut up the tomatoes, mushrooms, and I'm going to add an olive oil first with some uh, garlic. And, yeah, we're going to go from there. Oh, I turned on the wrong one. Okay. So, I always add my oil to a cold pan while the pan's heating up. So, I'm going to add roughly around six tablespoons of oil just to cover the basics of the bottom of the pan. Like you don't want it to come up to the sides so much, but you want it to you want to cover the entire bottom. Okay. So now what I'm going to do while that heats up is go ahead and cut up uh, my tomatoes, and I'm not going to cut them small at all. Like I cut the tomato in half, just giving them a quick rough chop. I'm not trying to be cooking for hours, you know? This is going to be creamy goodness, okay? Believe me when I tell you. If you ain't never had no creamy goodness of uh, any type of meal, Y'all yeah, missing out. Like I said, um, if you guys are missing like any greens, uh, you guys can add, uh, you know, spinach. You guys can add kale. Um, to me, kale is a little bit better because it's more earthy. So, let's drop in those tomatoes and let's get these uh, mushrooms popping. I'm going to quickly wash these off. Quickie, quickie spin. When I tell you guys, like, 
Oh man, I dropped the mushroom. Okay. So I'm gonna do about half the pack. First we're gonna chop off the stem. Off stem. You know, I never used to like touching mushrooms because they freaking creep me out. I don't know, like, I always thought that they can move and they were alive just by the way they look like some type of freaking sea creature or something. So I'm doing pretty much just a rough chop on them. Just roughly like they're gonna break down in the pan. Okay, so let me jump off the stem. And then we're going to go ahead and dump the mushrooms in. And we're done with the cutting board. We don't need it anymore. So, let me grab. Also add onions and peppers to this, but I'm not going to do it at all. So I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of cooking wine early. That way it can cook down because my kids will be eating this, okay? So mm, it smells amazing. So let's dump some of this chico garlic in there. I prefer to use fresh garlic, but I was in a pinch and needed garlic fast. So gonna let that cook. I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning to it. I'm gonna add half of my seasoning now and uh, half of my seasoning later. <laughs> Girls, so I'm adding, not really adding a ton of seasoning right now. Just enough to get everything uh, you know, bind together. It smells so heavily in here. Almost like an Italian kitchen. That's the smell that I'm getting. So, I already told you guys this is gonna be a one pot meal. So, let's see how we're going to you know, play this. So, put my seasoning back here. We don't need any more garlic. So, I'll come back when this has cooked down and we're going on to the next step. Okay, so we're back and they're cooking down, but I don't want them to cook down too far because they still have a ways to go with the pasta in it. So what I'm doing now is going to add in the water. And I'm not adding in, um, be quiet girls. 
I'm not adding in a ton of water because I don't want it to be watery at all. I want it to be nice and creamy. So we're gonna put the pasta in. I'm going to turn it down to like a medium to a medium low. Because right now we're at a medium high. So I'm going to break the pasta like so. And we're just going to dump it down into the pan like that. We're going to add a little bit more water just to cover the pasta. Can you get me the pet cup? It's in the dish trash. So, just covering the pasta only. And I'll show you guys. So, the pasta is here. The vegetables are underneath the pasta. And uh, you can tell, you can see that it's all coated in the water. So, I'll be back when it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so I ended up having to add some extra water, about a cup and a half, and uh, we're not going to drain this at all. Like some of the noodles, you want to make sure you're watching it, like I left to go watch Saints and Sinners. So your pasta can stick together, so you want to make sure uh, that you don't end up like me with your pasta stuck together. So this pasta is like at El Dente, Al Dente, uh, around there. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to add in the cream of mushroom. Okay, so we have that in. Oh, let me stir this up real quick. Get the soup. Blend it in. What I'm going to do is I forgot to tell you guys to add um, a little bit of sour cream to this. So that's what we're going to do. So adding in the 
Pam. It's really thick on the leg. Nice. Thick cream. show you um, what this is looking like now so here is the pasta when I say it is creamy it's creamy like creamy look at that cream on that spoon like it's creamy and there's no meat at all in it. Um, Jenna, come taste this. So I'm going to have my baby girl try this. See if she likes it. It's really hot. Here, hold it and blow it. 
Don't tell me, tell them. Stop dropping that food, child, on my floor. Just make this at home. Ooh, that I'm trying to make that at home. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So, y'all ready to eat? Mm hmm. Come on. Come on. So, I'm ready to eat, and I got a braid here tonight for back to school tomorrow. So, I'm real late with this. Um. He go, oh, yeah, we got to go strapping. Yeah. He's not coming today. No. He's not going to come tomorrow morning. Yeah. Can you show me? Yes. Can I stay home tomorrow? Or do I have to go to school? No, you have to go to school. Can you pick me up our outfit? Mm -hmm. Well, I already got the pants. I just need a shirt. <laughs> If you twirl it like that and it stay up, you got a good pasta. So, we're about to uh, have some dinner. Turn the stove off. And I want to thank you guys for watching. We're about to eat. And, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for what's for dinner. Bye, y'all.